There are major spoilers for Omori in this video. Do not watch if you haven't played through the game. In Omori, you play as Sunny, who when sleeping drifts off into an imagined world of his own creation. In this world, he takes up the self-created identity of Omori, a younger, mostly emotionless version of himself. He does this to explore the headspace slash mind space, an imagined or dreamed world that is more than likely all in his head and of his own imagination. These adventures primarily consist of memories with his old friends, mixed with new imagined adventures, and characters dreamt up of his own subconscious and media Sonny took in as a kid. While most of the game takes place in these overly imaginative parts of Sonny's dream world and the real world, Sonny and his alter ego Omori primarily stay in the white space, a location that is not visited often in game but nonetheless very, very important. While Sonny walks around in the real world, mentally he exists in the white space. There are a limited number of items in white space, if you can call them that considering they're all imagined. A laptop, a sketchbook, a box of tissues for wiping away someone's sorrows, and a cat. The cat's name happens to be Miwo. Also in the room is a black bulb hanging from a light cord. No, not a light bulb, a black bulb. You see, in media, a light bulb was often used to represent an idea. When a light bulb pops up above someone's head, it means that they've just had a clever thought or idea. The black bulb in Omori represents the opposite of that. The black bulb is a visual representation of Sonny's repression of his thoughts and memories. If the mind space overall is in Sonny's mind, made up very vividly of different spaces and places in his imagination, then the white space is part of the core of who Sonny is and how he feels. It's hard to say really, as I think most of the game is metaphorical, but I think white space is Sonny's mental state most of the time throughout the day. It's a numb nothingness, because if he allows himself to feel and to think about the things that have happened to him and the things that he'd done, it will become too much as he would have to accept what he'd done and the consequences of his actions. The black bulb is what allows Sonny's white space to exist and his regression into the character Omori. There is no light in the bulb, just darkness, no thoughts, no ideas, just a dark bulb that holds it all back because most of Sonny's thoughts are about what happened. What he did to Mary, what him and Basil did to hide it, and how it affected everyone he loved and how it will affect him in the future. This is basically confirmed by one of the handful of wisdom-giving characters who speak directly to Sonny in the dream world, the Branch Coral. When asked about white space, he explicitly tells you that the black bulb is the repression of an idea. I'd love to talk more about these wisdom and parting characters someday, like the Branch Coral and Daddy Longlegs. I think they're very interesting with their deep understanding and almost sentience when it comes to the dream world that Sunny exists in. It almost seems like their separate entities outside of Sunny are a deeper part of them that is just very intelligent and understanding of what really needs to happen for things to get better. It's super cool. I also want to talk about what I think Omori is and represents. I plan on doing more videos on Omori overall. If you enjoyed this, let me know. Uh, like and subscribe for more, and thanks for watching. Adios.